the realm. Do you know what the realm is? It's the thousand blades of Aegon's enemies. A story we agree to tell each other over and over till we forget that it's a lie. In this video, I will go over every single Winds of Winter update ever since George R. R. Martin released his last novel, A Dance with Dragons, in his A Song of Ice and Fire saga. I think this is worth looking at because it gives all of us a better understanding of how much writing he is or isn't getting done over the last decade. First, I want to give a shout out to the Insider website for gathering all of this information. He has given us a lot of updates over the years, so I'm sure it wasn't easy organizing all of his various announcements. Alright, now let's look at every update George R. R. Martin has given about his long-delayed next novel, The Winds of Winter. The highly anticipated sixth book in Martin's A Song of Ice and Fire series has now been in the works for over a decade. Since then, HBO's Game of Thrones series has ended significantly faster than George R. R. Martin was able to finish his next novel. HBO has released House of the Dragon, a show that is set over 100 years before the original series, as well as a myriad of other Game of Thrones shows that are in the works. George R. R. Martin's A Song of Ice and Fire series, however, has remained unfinished. Over the last decade, the author has addressed exactly how much he has done on The Winds of Winter, chafing against fan expectations and doing his best not to make promises. His first of many updates would start all the way back in 2010, when George R. R. Martin released a blog stating that he already had finished some chapters for The Winds of Winter. Now keep in mind, this was when he decided to restructure A Dance with Dragons before its release. He said, I guess this is a good news, bad news situation. It's bad news for those who want Dance to be really, really, really long, as long as Storm of Swords or even longer. What I have done will make Dance four chapters shorter. And hey, it's even good news for Winds of Winter, since I now have four chapters done for that one, in Aria, Asanza, and two Ariannes. This is, of course, assuming that I don't change my mind again tomorrow and move everything back the way it was last week. I am dancing, boys and girls. I'm dancing as fast as I can but some days it does feel as if I'm dancing in circles. In the very next year of 2011, George R. R. Martin gave another update, but he did not give a firm answer for when the fans should expect the Winds of Winter. During his interview with Entertainment Weekly, Martin said, he's not gonna say when the next novel will be done. There's an element of fans who don't seem to realize I'm making estimates. I've always been guilty of an excess of optimism. He says he's already made some headway on the Winds of Winter and expects to return to it in January and fans can reassure themselves that Martin is working for a conclusion, since he's often said he'll end the series with the seventh novel. Now, this next update reveals how George R. R. Martin himself is a sweet summer child. In his 2012 update, he said he thought The Winds of Winter would be released in 2014. That's nearly a decade ago already. When he sat down for an interview with Adria's News, he said he already had written about 400 pages for The Winds of Winter and that he was looking forward to releasing it in 2014. Interestingly enough, George R. R. Martin doesn't give his next update until that same year he thought he would release it in 2014. This was when he started realizing Game of Thrones was moving along much faster than he could write his next novel. In this 2014 interview at Vanity Fair, the author said he hoped the HBO series would combine the narratives of the fourth and fifth novels in the series of Feast for Crows and A Dance with Dragons. It's my hope that they'll do it that way and then, long before they catch up with me, I'll have released The Winds of Winter, which will give me another few years, Martin said at the time. It might be tight on the last book, A Dream of Spring, as they juggernaut forward. So as you can see, he had a lot of high hopes back then. Unfortunately, not only did Game of Thrones finish before him, but it looks like House of the Dragon might as well. Now let's have a look at his next update from March of 2015. When he sat down with Access Online, they asked him about whether the show would finish before him or not. He said, I don't know. I mean, that'll be up to the fans. The show is moving forward, and so am I. We'll see. Season 6 is still in the very early stages, he confirmed. And certainly, we're months away from filming anyway. Meanwhile, I'm writing The Winds of Winter. I'm not done with it yet. I still have a lot to write, but I also have a lot that's already written, so I don't know. I try not to worry about things like this. I just, you know, go in every day and write the scene that I'm trying to write that day and try to make it as good as I can. Around this same time, Game of Thrones writers David Benioff and D.B. Weiss said, The fact is, we didn't want to catch up. Obviously, we would hope that the novels would come out ahead of the show, but at the same time, George has his process, and if it takes him 20 years to finish the series, then that's what it should take. He's writing, to my mind, a great epic. The greatest fantasy epic anyway for our time. So we can't rush him, and I wouldn't want to rush him. And at the same time, we don't want the show to go on a hiatus. In the very next month of 2015, 
George R. R. Martin sat down with Entertainment Weekly again. During this interview, he said, Having the Winds of Winter done before Season 6 of Game of Thrones has been my mission all along. I wish it was out now. Maybe I'm being overly optimistic about how fast I can finish, but I did cancel two convention appearances, and I'm turning down a lot more interviews. Anything I can do to get it done. He also said the way he feels about the Winds of Winter is constantly shifting, saying that he oscillated from thinking it was the greatest thing he's ever done, and that it's all garbage and I should throw it all in the fire and start again. I'm sure all the stress that was on him back then had him feeling like a mixed bag of emotions. Now, in the following year of 2016, he wrote another Nauta blog announcing The Winds of Winter was not done. In January of that year, he said, You all wanted an update. Well, here's an update. You're not gonna like it. The Winds of Winter is not finished. Believe me, it gave me no pleasure to type those words. You're disappointed, and you're not alone. My editors and publishers are disappointed. HBO is disappointed, my agents, and even the foreign publishers and translators are disappointed. But no one could be possibly more disappointed than me. For months now, I've wanted nothing so much as to be able to say, I finished and delivered The Winds of Winter, on or before the last day of 2015. But it's now another new year, and the novel's not done. Nor is it likely to be finished on the next day or next week. Yes, there's a lot written, dozens of chapters, but there's also a lot still left to write. I am months away still, and that's if the writing goes well. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So many chapters still to write, of course, but also rewriting. I always do a lot of rewriting. I guess I could say sorry boys and girls, still writing, and leave it at that. It will be done when it's done. Which is what I have done, more or less, since, well, forever. Then after a year of no updates, he finally said something to one of his fans on the Nautablog website in January of 2017. He said, I'm not done yet, but I've made some progress. Not as much as I hoped a year ago, when I thought I would be done by now. I think it will be out this year. But hey, I thought the same thing last year. Well, as you all know, The Winds of Winter still hadn't been released by 2018. And during an interview at The Guardian, George R. R. Martin finally revealed how difficult his writing had been. I've been struggling with it for a few years, he admitted. The Winds of Winter is not so much a novel as it is a dozen novels. Each of them with a different protagonist, each having a different cast of characters and antagonists and allies and lovers around them, and all of those weaving together in an extremely complex fashion. So it's very, very challenging. I thought that update was very alarming because it not only revealed he wasn't done, but it also sort of indicated he may no longer be enjoying his writing. Then, in March of 2019, right around when Game of Thrones was about to air its final season, he revealed he did not know how the show would end because he was only focusing on writing the novel. He said, I haven't read the final season and I haven't been able to visit the set because I've been working on wins. I know some things, but there's a lot of minor character arcs they'll be coming up with on their own. And of course, they've moved ahead of my novels many years ago. It might be an end for a lot of fans, he said, but it's not the end for me. I'm still deeply in it. I better live a long time because I have a lot of work left to do. Only a few months after this, he revealed how he's working on several other things while he's still writing The Winds of Winter. As you all know, he's been helping HBO develop other Game of Thrones shows, and he even did some work on the Elden Ring video game. On his Nauta blog, he said, I'm writing. Winter is coming. I told you long ago. And so it is. The Winds of Winter is very late. I know, I know. But it will be done. I won't say when. I've done that before. Only to burn you all and jinx myself. But I will finish it, and then will come a dream of spring. How will it all end? I keep hearing fans asking. The same ending as the show? Or will it be different? Well, yes, and no, and yes and no, and yes and no and yes. I'm working in a very different medium than David and Dan, never forget. They had six hours for this final season. I expect these last two novels of mine will fill 3,000 manuscript pages between them before I'm done. And if more are needed, I'll add them. And of course, the butterfly effect will be at work as well. Those of you who follow the Nauta blog will know that I've been mentioning this since season one. There are characters who never made it onto the screen at all, and others who died in the show, but who are still alive in the books. So if nothing else, the readers will learn what happened to a myriad of my other characters, both great and small, that viewers of the show never had a chance to meet. And yes, there will be unicorns, of a sort. Book or show? Which will be the real ending? How about this? I'll write it, you read it. Then everyone can make up their own mind and argue about it on the internet. Near the very end of 2019, George R. R. Martin said he was focusing on the Winds of Winter rather than spending most of his days writing for House of the Dragon. Over on his Nauta blog, he said, I'm not taking on any scripts until I've finished and delivered the Winds of Winter. 
Winter is still coming, and Winds remains my number one focus, as much as I'd love to write an episode for House of the Dragon. In January of 2020, George R. R. Martin sat down for an interview with the German news website. This was when he revealed that Game of Thrones fans know one ending from the show, but it's not the real ending of his story. The creators of Game of Thrones have overtaken me, which I did not expect. I'm still doing what I've been doing for years though. I'm still finishing the next novel, The Winds of Winter first, and then a follow-up, A Dream of Spring. That's what I'm focusing on. After that, we'll see. Later that same year, Martin wrote that being isolated during the pandemic may actually help his writing since he didn't have so many other distractions. I am spending long hours every day on The Winds of Winter. I finished a new chapter yesterday, another one three days ago, another one during the week before. But no, this does not mean that it will be finished tomorrow or released next week. It's going to be massive, and I still have a long way to go. Now at the end of that same year, he said I was really on a roll back in June and July, and I've continued since then, but more slowly. I suffered a gut punch in early August that really had me down for a time, and another for different reasons in early September. But I slogged on, and of late, I'm gaining my steam again. Then, in February of 2021, it looked as if George R. R. Martin gave his greatest Winds of Winter update when he said, I wrote hundreds and hundreds of pages for the Winds of Winter in 2020. That's the best year I've had since I began it. Why? I don't know. Maybe the isolation? Or maybe I just got on a roll. Sometimes I do that. I need to keep rolling though. I still have hundreds more to write to bring the novel to a satisfactory conclusion. In March of 2022, he then started to show signs of what may be exhaustion or even frustration when he said, Yes, of course I'm still working on The Winds of Winter. I've stated that a hundred times in a hundred venues. Having to restate that endlessly is worrisome. I made a lot of headway on wins in 2020 and less in 2021, but less is not none. The world of Westeros, the world of A Song of Ice and Fire, is my number one focus and will remain so until that story is told. However, Westeros has become bigger than The Winds of Winter, or even A Song of Ice and Fire. In addition to Winds, I also need to deliver the second volume of Archmaester Gildane's history, Fire and Blood. I am thinking of naming that one Blood and Fire, rather than simply Fire and Blood Volume 2. I got a couple hundred pages of that one written already, but there's still a long way to go. I've got to write more Dunkin' Egg novellas and finish their story, especially since there is a television series about them in development. Not only did it sound like he was sick of discussing The Winds of Winter, but it also seemed as if he was ready to start working on something else. After all, he was mentioning all these other things he wanted to write. Then in April of 2022, he said The Winds of Winter will be the largest novel he's ever written, bigger than A Storm of Swords and A Dance with Dragons. Then, in July of last year, he gave what might be one of my favorite updates regarding his next novel. He said, I will say this, I have been at work in my winter garden, Things are growing and changing, as does happen with us gardeners. Things change, new ideas come to me, old ideas become unworkable. I write, I rewrite, I restructure, I rip everything apart and rewrite again. I go through doors that lead nowhere and doors that open on marvels. Sounds mad, I know, but it's how I write. Always has been, always will be, for good or for ill. What I have noticed more and more of late, however, is my gardening is taking me further and further away from the television series. Yes, some of what you saw in Game of Thrones will also be seen in The Winds of Winter, but much of the rest will be very different. And really, when you think about it, this was inevitable. The novels are much bigger and much, much more complex than the series. Certain things that happened on HBO will not happen in my novels. I have viewpoint chapters in the books never seen on the show. Victarion Greyjoy, Arianne Martell, Ario Hota, John Connington, and even Aaron Damper. They will all have chapters, and the things they do and say will affect the story and the major characters who were on the show. I have legions of secondary characters who also figure in the story. Lady Stoneheart, Young Griff, Marwyn the Mage, Darkstar, Jane Westerling. Some of those characters you saw on the show are quite different than the versions in my novels. Yara Greyjoy is not Asha Greyjoy. And HBO's Your Own Greyjoy is way, 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 way different from mine. Oh, and there will be new characters as well. Now, they won't be viewpoint characters, but with all these journeys and battles and scheming to come, inevitably our major characters will be encountering new ones and lands far and near. Not all of the characters who survived until the end of Game of Thrones will survive until the end of A Song of Ice and Fire. And not all the characters who died on Game of Thrones will die in A Song of Ice and Fire. Some will, sure, of course, maybe most, but definitely not all. 
Now, I could change my mind again next week, with the next chapter I write. That's gardening. And the ending? You will need to wait until I get there. Some things will be the same. A lot will not. No doubt, once I'm done, there will be a big debate about which version of the story is better. Some fans will like mine, while others like the television show, and that's fine. However, I do fear that a certain section of the fans are so angry about how long The Winds has taken me that they're ready to hate the book before they even read it. That saddens me, but there's nothing I can do about it. But write the best one that I can, and hope that when it does release, most fans will read it with an open mind. And finally, just last month, George R. R. Martin said, and yes, yes, of course, I've been working on The Winds of Winter. Almost every day. Writing, rewriting, editing, writing some more. Not as fast as I would like, and certainly not as fast as you would like, but he's been getting more work done nonetheless. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is every major Winds of Winter update since George R. R. Martin started working on the novel. I do wonder where things stand at the moment, given it's been nearly a year since he said he was roughly three quarters of the way done. Let's all hope we don't have to wait another three or four years since it's been well over a decade for him to make it this far.